Quick one, when you bought your last TV, did you check the apps first or the picture? If you picked it for the apps, you might be in for a surprise. Today I'm going to explain why most smart TVs get sluggish, why apps disappear, and the single cheap trick that'll save you from replacing your TV every few years. Stick with me, I promise it's worth it. Here's the roadmap. I'll also walk you through setup and give troubleshooting tips, so no tech background needed. Why smart TVs slow down? Let's start with the why. Picture the TV's brain, CPU, RAM and storage, like the engine of a car. Manufacturers often give the TV an engine that's just enough for the factory software. That's deliberate. Cheaper parts keep the price down. But then the software evolves, new OS versions, app updates, security patches, which are like adding heavy luggage and a trailer to that small engine. Suddenly, the TV is sluggish. First few weeks, snappy, six months to a year, laggy menus, slow app launches, buffering during navigation. Why storage alone isn't the answer? You might have free space, but the CPU and RAM determine how smoothly the OS and apps run. Why apps get dropped? Next, disappearing apps. You ever open an app and it's gone or shows an unsupported message? This happens for a few reasons. Compatibility. App developers upgrade their apps to use newer features and security protocols. Those updates often require newer APIs and more processing power. Cost and contracts. Maintaining an app for an old TV OS costs money. If the manufacturer or streaming service decides it's not worth it, support ends. Security. To protect content, apps get security hardening, which again needs more resources. So it's not personal, it's business and tech limitations coming together. Quick personal story. I bought a Sony in 2020 for the Android OS. Thought I'd sideload whatever I wanted. A few months in it updated to a newer Android version and turned into a snail. Storage wasn't the problem. The processor and RAM couldn't handle the upgrade. Sony eventually stopped further updates for that model and certain apps stopped receiving support. I've seen this pattern across brands, Samsung, LG, Panasonic, same script. Lesson learned, the smart part ages faster than the screen. Buy for picture and sound, not smart features. Here's the single piece of timeless advice, buy a TV for picture and sound only. That's the hardware you can't replace. Treat the smart features like an accessory, replaceable and upgradable. Pick the screen that passes your eye test. Color, contrast, motion handling, pick sound you can live with, or plan a soundbar. Audio is why many folks upgrade TVs. Then, plug in a streamer stick for apps. That way, when the smart interface ages, you just replace the stick, not the TV. Which streaming device and why? Which device? There are several good options. Fire TV sticks, Google TV Chromecast, Roku, Nvidia Shield, and more. The point isn't brand. It's that these devices get updates more often, are inexpensive, and are designed to run apps smoothly. Budget and easy. Fire TV Stick Roku, cheap and fast out of the box. Flexibility. Google TV Android-based boxes, sideloading options if you need them. Powerhouse. Nvidia Shield. More muscle if you want gaming or Plex server features. Why this matters. If an app drops support on one stick, you swap the stick. TV stays. Simple. Quick setup plus pro tips. Okay, 5 minute setup checklist so your stick works like a dream. 1. Plug the stick into HDMI. Use a short HDMI extension if it's cramped. 2. Enable HDMI sec on your TV so one remote can control basic functions. Some TVs call it CEC, Simplink, Bravia Sync, AnyNet. 3. If possible, give the stick Ethernet via an adapter for stable streaming. Wi-Fi can be flaky. 4. Sign into your streaming accounts and enable updates. Let the stick stay current. 5. Consider a basic VPN on the device only if you know why you need it. It can affect streaming performance and region locks. Troubleshooting and maintenance. Practical fixes if your TV is already slow. Factory reset the TV, last resort, uninstall unused factory apps. Disable background apps if the OS lets you, or, easiest, plug in a streaming stick. That's the fastest path back to speed. If this helped, drop a comment with your TV model and what you did. Hit like if you learned something, and subscribe if you want more tech sanity checks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.